So you just saw the family-friendly version of elephant toothpaste. That was spectacular. It's an experiment that you can do at your house, but most importantly, it's one that you can do and then touch and hold. All those little bubbles that you were holding, that was oxygen. Because the hydrogen peroxide that you have at your house, that 3% or 6%, it decomposes and that yeast was the catalyst. Because this is 4th of July, we're going to try something just a little bit bigger. Instead of using the 3% or 6% hydrogen peroxide, I brought along hydrogen peroxide that is 35% proof. What does that mean? It means that it is 10 to 12 times stronger than the hydrogen peroxide that you have at your house. And which means you should not be doing this experiment at home because watching it is just as cool. For this chemical reaction to occur, we need a catalyst, something to speed it up. We could let this hydrogen peroxide sit here for a long time and eventually breaks down into water and oxygen, but we just don't have time for that. It's 4th of July. We need to get this party started now. So we have a catalyst and it is potassium iodide. It acts just like the yeast that you used at home or that you plan to use at home for the fun at home family friendly version. So what we're going to do is we're going to put 200 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 35% into each of these graduated cylinders. We're going to add a little bit of soap. Then we're going to introduce our potassium iodide to see what happens. But before I do with these three graduated cylinders, I actually want to test with this flat bottom flask first. I've actually never done elephant toothpaste in this shape of a container. So I thought tonight would be the night to try something new. Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to introduce and pour in our hydrogen peroxide. And what we need to do now is add a little bit of soap. I'm gonna switch that around. And because I just wanna see what it does, here's some yellow food coloring. Oh yeah. move these out of the way and now we pour this in we need a countdown three two one <laughs> oh my gosh look at that oh and look at all of the heat that's coming off. That's because this is an exothermic reaction. It's producing all sorts of heat. This is very, very warm. We don't want to get our hands in it. But what we want to do now is that's yellow. It's time to try something just a little more patriotic. So I figured if we do this again, we could introduce red. It'll be kind of yellowish, but white and blue. About 200 milliliters. We're gonna add our food coloring. Red, blue, add a little bit of soap. And now, all we need to do is add our catalyst. All right, I gotta pour these fast. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Happy 4th of July, everybody!
Oh, that is so awesome. That was so fast, wasn't it? It was just like, I couldn't even pour it fast enough. All right, here's the worst part about all these experiments. We've got to clean them up. <laughs> 